Good Wednesday evening, Southeast Texas. Hope you're, I don't want to say that. Good Wednesday evening, Southeast Texas. If you're headed off from Southeast Texas up to North Texas for the Newton Eagles following them, you're going to leave on a wet note coming up tomorrow morning. We'll see improving weather during the late morning hours. Looks fine once you get out of Southeast Texas. North Texas looks like they'll have lots of sun. It'll be chilly, no doubt about that, but at least you'll see improving weather conditions as far as your drive or travel forecast. Similar situation, jackets required. Uh, for Westbrook, but it looks like no issues as far as any travel to or fro between Beaumont and Arlington. Good luck to both teams. Here's your weather headlines. Morning rain across southeast Texas, and we're not talking a 20% coverage. We're talking about an 80% coverage, but it's going to be light. However, by the afternoon, we expect sunny skies to arrive, and it is going to be a windy afternoon across southeast Texas. Winds could top off around 30 miles an hour. A quick cool snap. Expected Thursday, Friday, and Saturday morning, and then the big warm-up ensues, and it looks like a very mild Christmas shaping up for our area. These are the wind gusts coming up tomorrow afternoon, and you can see many of us will see wind gusts maybe close to 30 miles an hour. So a windy day across southeast Texas as strong upper-level disturbance moves on in. It's up in the north Texas, going to be sweeping on into our area as we head towards tomorrow morning. Our first round of rain that we saw this morning is pushed on off to the east associated with that cold front. And you can see that piece of energy right there in through western Louisiana. That's what brought us the rain and the cold front. The second piece of energy sliding on down into west Texas, and this disturbance right there will move on in. This is what's going to create more rain in the morning, plus a windy day across southeast Texas. So cloudy to mostly cloudy skies tonight, some fog. And then after about 3 a.m., we ought to start seeing showers moving on in. And it looks like a wet morning for southeast Texas. That makes two in a row. However, it looks like light stuff. So no severe weather expected, no flooding expected. Then as we go through the afternoon hours, we'll begin peeling away the cloud cover. And temperatures may flirt with 60 degrees in a few spots. Just hold on to your hat. On the Gulf of Mexico, a gale warning is in effect tomorrow for seas 3 to 5 feet and winds out of the northwest at 15 to 35 knots. Water temperature currently 56, a high tide at 2.53 p.m. Our forecast tonight, foggy, cloudy, with about a 30% coverage of light rain or drizzle. Northwest winds at 3 to 10, low temperatures dropping into the mid to upper 40s lakes to around 50 in the triangle. Then tomorrow, 80% coverage of rain in the morning. And this is going to be light. And then sunny skies developing tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures mid to upper, maybe upper 50s up in the lakes area. And close to 60 in the triangle. Again, winds could gust to 30 miles an hour tomorrow afternoon as a much drier air mass filters on in. So Friday looks outstanding. Beautiful camping weather. Green bar days coming up Friday and Saturday. Saturday morning will be the chilliest morning. Then the warming trend kicks in as we'll begin to see more of a west and, and south wind developing for Christmas Eve. Looks mild, maybe 70, slight chance of showers, light stuff coming up Sunday, Monday, and Christmas Day. Christmas Day, we're looking at about 73 now as we uh, turn our attention to 9 a.m., looking at about 65, 71 at noon, and by 5 p.m., 67. So the weather should cooperate if you want to ride that new bike. Otherwise, thunderstorms return to the forecast next Wednesday. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com weather. Stay safe. Have a fantastic Wednesday night.